Hey there, I want to show off our new iOS app. So we've had this out for a little bit. Um, I might kind of fly through the invoice module since it's been out for a few months. Um, but invoices and credit card swiping with Vantiv has been supported. Um, here's what the customer list looks like. You can you know, tap into one of your customers. Um, it'll have their phone numbers with click to call. You can tap the address, it'll open up a map. Um, this one doesn't have one, but um, swipe back works to get um, back to any screen you were on. I'll show you what the invoices look like. Um, go into an invoice. So you can see all the details here. You can quickly add a line item, this button down here in the bottom left. You just search for the product. I'm not going to go through that. Um, anytime you can pull to refresh these. Um, this blue open button in the upper right will take you to the web version. So if there's something that we haven't implemented yet in iOS, you'll be able to click through that, um, it'll take you straight into the website, and then you can use the web version there on the phone if you want. So we'll swipe back here. Um, again, the take payment stuff has been here for a while, so you can do all the offline payments, you can do credit card, plug in the Vantive credit card reader if you're in the US and swipe credit cards. I'll just do a cash payment here real quick. I'll just write my name. See the signatures work here, they carry through to the web, you can print or email the receipt, and yeah, it's been there a little while. The big thing I want to show is the tickets. This is brand new, this has just been out a few days. Um, so we've got the saved searches here from the web interface, so if you set up saved searches for common things, um, you can access those here, that's what those that second row of buttons are. You can filter just mine, just to show um, tickets that are assigned to you. When you tap in once, you'll see the initial issue. Um, you also get a details button, so you can tap through to the details screen. So we've brought all the best stuff from the mobile web and the most common stuff that you might want to do while you're out on your phone. Um, so we've got the timer, custom fields, assignment, appointments. Um, on the comments, you can say minutes spent right in line. So I'm going to say 45 minutes spent here, fixing a thing. And I'm going to say charge time now and add this comment. So this will put a comment on it, email it, add a timer entry, and a charge. Ticket charges haven't been implemented yet in this version of the iOS app. They're coming in a few more weeks. They are coming. Um, also, creating new tickets isn't supported here yet, but you can edit. Here's uh, that timer entry. It's aware it was charged. It'll show you that. Um, you can assign users, save that, you can change the status, you can edit the custom fields, you can change the type, hit next, it'll let you fill in all the different types of custom fields. Ticket worksheets are coming soon, in a couple weeks. Um, here's a new appointment, works really well. Then one of the most important features, I think, was the timer. When you click start, you can either just hit check in, which will put a comment on the ticket saying checking in and the time, and then it'll start the timer, or you can hit custom log entry. That'll work more like the stopwatch on the web where just starting, stopping, and putting a comment um, that you can choose to build later. So if you check in, it knows you checked in, you've got a check out button, those add timer entries. All this stuff works just like you'd expect it to. You can do private comments, and you can swipe back again, get back to the home screen. One kind of nifty thing we added um, that's tucked away in the settings area is you can download all your customers. So we've made the customers and invoices work pretty well offline. Tickets aren't quite offline yet, but if you're going to be out and you know you're not going to have reception, you can come here, hit download all customers, and it'll stick your whole customer database on your phone. So um, if you get no reception, you'll be able to search, list, get through all your customer data, the email, phone, address, all that stuff will work offline. Whatever the phone has remembered for the invoices also works offline, and tickets will be offline in a few weeks. Thanks. Have a good one.